Right, a small video on the Sony. I'm back up Sand Bay to try and capture the walk that I got erased. There was three gigabytes of walk that I accidentally wiped out. Um, I'm not at the start of that bit yet. I'm not doing the whole walk again. I'm just trying to assess where exactly where the cows are. And they are in this field, but they're right down the bottom. So what I can do, I can't go down to the, the gate at the bottom where I started near Scallop Bay. So I've come up a different way and I'm going to add this video on when I skirt the north side of Sand Point. Because this is where I've just walked up the beach. The cows are now in this area, but they're right down the bottom um, where I would have started my walk. They're not on the other side, in other words. They're in this, they're in this area. Um, and I can see three, four at the moment. Um, but there's Scallop Bay. The photo still exists, by the way, of that walk. It was just the video. So what I plan to do now, I'm not going to waste any time. Look, they've been here. The cows have been here, look, not long ago. So what I'm going to do, because they might be going down that way anyway, what I plan to do, I've just got to check around this corner a minute. There's no point me climbing up there if there's a, a group round the back. Because look, the herd could be split. But I can see quite a few cows down there. But what I, pl what I plan to do, and they can walk quite fast, by the way, cows can. So, what's the plan then, Shill? They're just there, and they're cut. I think they're coming this way. I don't know if I've got time to get up there. Do you see what I mean? So I can't actually do the whole walk, um, but I can do the north side of Sand Point itself. But I've got to assess how quick those cows are moving if I try to get up there and then walk along. So we might have to compromise a bit. All the photographs that I took didn't get erased because I saved them separately. And most of the video got saved. It was just, but they were three big videos that I did from right the way down there up on that hump I did, and down. I think they're moving too quick for me to risk going up there. So what I'm going to do is just walk, walk over here. I'll just zoom in to where they are. I don't know whether they're coming this way. I don't know if they're coming this way, but there's the cows. I'm just going to turn off for a minute and take a picture. Right, I'm moving away from that hill now, but over there is where I would have walked. The other side of the hill where the cows are, the other side of that hill is where I would have walked up across over there. Now this won't come out, the video footage won't come out very well. So basically what I'm doing is walking backwards for a minute. It won't come out very well. So I might not talk when I turn round and face. When I can turn round.
Yeah, the cows, you can see where they've been sat here, look. Where it's all flattened out. Could be the place they come at night. Who knows? Now, if they're on this side, that means they're not on the other side. Uh, St. Thomas Point area. Near the Priory end, they won't be at that end. And eventually, they want them in, in there, actually on the point itself. Um, munching and keep clipping up the, all the vegetation because they're good at it. I'm going to turn off for a little while now folks but I'm doing exactly the same route. Just had to miss out a bit of it. But most of this bit up here I would capture. And I'm using Kodak. So I'm now going to repeat the walk. I'm using Kodak though instead of Sony. Um, I'm just because I'm not doing a massive walk. Kodak might cut out and then I'll just put it on charge. Um, or I'll just put the Sony one on. Sony's having a rest. So here we are. We managed to do some of it. We had to miss out the section where the cows were coming up across where the big hill was. But I've done all along there, taking pictures mainly, I think. Um, then, now we've got a video. Got to remember, got a video this section. Of course, the weather's not as nice as it was when I came here. A week and a half ago, when it was beautiful, or two weeks ago even. It was a beautiful blue sky. Yeah, I think it's more like two weeks ago now. The daisies are still out though, but everything looks better when there's blue sky, doesn't it? And I did three gigabytes worth. I mean, goodness knows, I must have been videoing the whole bit. We'll just see how Kodak does. Um, I've got it on P as well, haven't you? I don't, I can't remember what P stands for, to tell the truth. I'll leave it on P. I don't know if that's panorama, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be some sort of recording. But like I said, when I came the other week and there was blue sky, no wind. There were more people about. The only thing is, what's uh, going to happen is the video will pick up the wind. But we are more sheltered in a minute, and so it might be okay. But of course, I can't repeat the conversation that I had two weeks ago. I don't know what I was talking about. That's an, a, another way up, by the way. If you want to get back now to the seat and go back down, you can go there. There's a nice... Some of it might be different what I take, actually. There's a nice dog rose there, look. Might be more out in flower now than it was two weeks ago. And the uh, tide's right out, the sandbanks are showing. But they do let the cows, well, and soon the cows will be coming here as well. Um, they munch their way through everything. They really clean it up here, do they? Yeah. But I think what they do, they allow the flowers to flower and let the seeds. Do you know what I mean? And they didn't have cows yet. They had them last year. But we never had them for about five years, the cows. But I think it's probably got a bit wild. And the cows will be coming along here. They, and they go up through there. They just, they don't eat the bushes exactly, but they weave their way in and out. See, it's quite sheltered here and I can talk. I have to hold the Kodak camera quite still. It is called a still camera, actually. But I used the Sony last time because I was using the Kodak for photos. 
only and I use the Sony but the Sony started to play up when I was on a walk a week ago on the Quantox the Sony was wanted me to select different scene selections so it kept turning off so I lost some footage there so I'm not I don't want to risk that today so I'm using this and if it goes off I'll put the battery charger on it but I took loads of photos and I will be using those as well to attach to this video we've got to walk all the way we've all the way in and out of there yet at least it's not wet and slippery it's quite interesting to see the different weather though that we've had but like I said, those are the videos that I lost, three gigabytes worth. They might turn up yet. I mean, I have looked all inside the computer in different folders and whatever. But I know I once I've got them on disk, see what happened, I did save them. I now have to doubly check all the disks. Because what happened, the disk was corrupt. The disk was corrupt, even though it was showed that I'd saved a big folder I couldn't access it um, I've only kept it just in case there's a way around it yet that I can find to make me allow me to open it you know it's just shut tight it's happened a few times with these cheaper discs I'm using now with, with the big walk I did there was a <coughs> A big, big Nuller walk I did, I saved it to memory card. Um, and I'm going to do the same with a walk I did to Triscombe Stone and round to Crocombe. Um, Triscombe and Ainshot Church on the Quantock Hills. That's a really big video. That's 21 gigabytes altogether, plus all the photos. That one will be saved to... It's already partially saved to disk, right? That will be saved to disk, YouTube, Blogger, and the web links will go on my Ancestry site. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? So there we go. We've got, um, you can't, yes, you straight ahead of me, right across this Sugarloaf Mountain. I got a feeling it was quite misty the other day when I was out. I don't know if it'll come out, but over there. The Sugarloaf Mountain. It might come out on the video when we play it back later. Of course, I got a feeling I knew there was something wrong with that disc, you know. And I had kept part of that walk on a memory card, but forgot I was keeping it there for that reason. And then formatted the card and of course lost it. It was on the card as well. So I must have forgotten. Look at these lovely little dog roses that greeting us on the low down on the path. Look. Oops. So, looking back, look, we've got the big hill. Got to the one just below. Because the cows were adventuring this way, I didn't go right on the top. I'll tell you what happened as well. When I first arrived on the top here, and was near the bench, just sorting myself out, I'd just taken a picture of the bench. And it always takes about five seconds for the camera to get ready for the next shot. And a spitfire went straight over the top not right over the top of us but close by but low of course I tried to get the camera ready but it was too late the shot wouldn't I took a shot but it as far as I know it wouldn't have shown the Spitfire but I thought it was a lone Spitfire and it flew straight over the top and I thought wow how often would you just see that and it was just one on its own Of course, a bit of news. This is post the first walk. Yesterday was um, 
6th of June, the 80th anniversary of D-Day, the Normandy landings and all that. Because my, I've mentioned it before, my dad was in Africa and Italy during the war, and they weren't D-Day Dodgers, as the song says. They were actually fighting and dying in Africa and Italy in some terrible battles. They really, really saw some fighting. So, that song was a bit unfair, really. Now, you see all these lovely daisies along here? I've taken lots of photos of these the last week. But I think there are even more out this week. They really are glorious, aren't they? So what I'm going to do, just for now, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop and I'm going to take a couple of new ones. So stop the video.